I always say, if it wasn't for people, I'd have nothing to talk about. And it is crazy. I am the Larry David, the real Larry David. And Larry David's curb your enthusiasm are stories that he makes up. My stories are real. I'm the real one. So if you're a Big Shot producer out there, if you're a Brad Gray, I want you to get in touch with me to write a, a, a show regarding me. People say all the time, why don't you do a reality show on your life? These blogs are the reality show because I cannot write this stuff. I've got to carry a camera with me all the time. It, it is too insane. It is too nutty. I hit the music in the back of my head. Right? My kid was here. He played on the computer. Da -da 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 -da, whatever the hell's on Larry David. A few days ago, I broke the key in the lock. I broke, I have a key, you open your lock, you open your door, I broke the key, I don't know how, I turn it, it broke, so now the key's stuck in the lock, so what am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to call a locksmith, so I call a friend of mine, he's a home repair guy, great guy, I love, very nice guy, he said, the, the, I need you to come over, the key is broken lock, so I'll come over, he comes over that same day, terrific, and we go to, we go to Home Depot to buy a lock, I mean, I have so many locks, $50 locks, $100 locks, $500 locks, I, I know when I go to the test, I know what kind of locks to get. But at Home Depot, can't figure anything about locks. So I, I don't know what to do. I don't, I don't what, what, I think I get the most expensive locks. I, I got so much wealth in this house. Take a look at it. I got so much wealth in this house. I'm afraid everyone's coming in here, to, uh, to, 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 like in, in, in Scarface. They're all coming at the end, coming to get them. That's what I'm afraid of. I, I got monitors and cameras. Everybody's coming in to take what the hell I got in this house. These, uh, like this here. <laughs> These uh, Party Girl USA DVDs. <laughs> They're coming to get that. Or, uh, or, uh, what the hell? Uh, Zoom Dating, my dating show from 1995. I'm afraid they're coming to get that. So, um, or this here. <laughs> this. <laughs> this picture. <laughs> of, of, of my, my friend from Las Vegas. That's what they're coming to get. So, um, what the hell am I talking about? So, so we got the lock, and that now he comes there, and he takes off the doorknob. He takes off, I said, what, what, I said, wait. How much is this going to cost me? Before you even before the best, before the Home Depot on the phone, what's this going to cost me? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't, don't worry about it. Take good care of it. Don't worry about it. Take good care of me. He comes to the house. He's, he's, he, he, I go to Home Depot. I said, I, I, I'm buying all this stuff. I'm spending over $100 on locks. And, and uh, well, I don't know what the hell. I, I did, I'm looking for bagels. Couldn't find any bagels. This is expensive locks. So I, I, I can't imagine what a piece of smoked salmon is going to cost me. So I, uh, I go. He comes to the house and he's, he's drilling holes. And uh, I don't know. It looks like Swiss cheese the whole door. I don't know what the hell he's doing. He's oh my God, the lock. I never saw a lock like this. A lock you have nine inches. I said, you talking about the locks? My wife said, are you talking about the locks? <laughs> so said, you need uh, six inches, five inches, four inches. My wife I've been saying the same thing for 25 years. So he says, yeah, I got a different lock, a special lock, a long lock, whatever the hell he's talking about. He, he takes out the thing, he puts in the other thing, now I have a hole in the door. He says, why? I said, why do I have a hole in the door? Well, because i got to fill up that hole, i got to connect this over here. It, it, he's a home repair guy. If I called a, a locksmith, in two minutes, one, two, three, here, goodbye. But this guy was here from 5 o'clock, I think, till 10 o'clock at night, putting a lock in the door. It doesn't take that long. I, I don't live in Fort Knox. I, 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 what the hell, I don't know what the hell he was doing. What takes so long? Five to six, six to seven, seven to eight. Ten, five hours to put a lock in the door and a doorknob. And then he's still not finished. He had to come back the next day. He came back tomorrow and he's still cacking poles and banging and connecting. And he, he says, Did you have a screwdriver? So I gave him a butter knife. Because a butter knife, a screwdriver in a Jewish home is a butter knife. That's that. Wait, what, what, what possible screwdriver do I have in my house? My wife's been sitting in the dark for 25 years. I haven't changed the light bulb yet. So, um, I, I should have asked him. He was here. So, um, Finally, he fixes everything. He fixes the, two days to come to put a lock in the house. Jesus Christ! So he, two days, he finally finished everything. Two days. I said, "What do I owe you?" And he says, "Just give me two hundred dollars." Two hundred dollars to put a lock in the door? I would have let the key broken. I would let the door wide open. Come on in. For, if I knew it was gonna be two hundred dollars, but he wouldn't tell me. He tells me, "I'm gonna give you a good deal. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it." Now, when he was here, my wife was in the dining room. And I said to my wife, transfer some U.S. money because I have a Canadian account. I'm American. I have a U.S. account. And I write checks and I pay bills. And I never know what the hell's in the account that I write checks and bills. And I, I don't know. I don't keep track of anything. So to make sure nothing's going to bounce, I said, transfer some U.S. So I know this is extra money into the Canadian. But he's standing right there. And I don't want to know how much it's to transfer. So Andrew's in the dining room. And I'm in the kitchen. And Andrea says, I got, got so much gas, I can drive to Pittsburgh. You know how many times I've told that joke in these blogs? So Andrew says, how much do you want me to transfer? So I don't want to say it, so I go like that. And she says, $20? Do you know what this means? It means peace, V for victory, or Mo from the Three Stooges. That's what that means. That's what I said to my wife when she said $20. Now, that means two. two. She said, how much am I going to charge? She goes, she, I can't cost $20 to fix the lock. 
So I, I, she said twenty dollars. I said I don't have to say what I'm about to say. I say two hundred dollars. So he hears me. So when he said to me yesterday, only two hundred dollars. I said two hundred dollars. Well, I had to come back yesterday. I had to come back today. I was there for hours. I said, but but if I call the locksmith, he wouldn't charge me two hundred dollars. That's you putting it together. I'm not paying you for your time. I'm paying you to do the job. However long it takes you to do the job, that's up to you. But the job is to replace a lock. If you don't have to replace a lock, you wouldn't be here for two days replacing a lock on a doorknob. The the the, the locksmith comes, takes it out, put it in, boom, that's it. Me, I, I go to Home Depot. He's putting holes in the wall. He's sanding it down. He's spraying it. I don't know what the hell is going on. Then replace a lock. He said, "Why did you call a locksmith?" I said, "Because I like you. I do. I like him very much. He's a handyman." But now I know. Now I know when, when, I, when I called him and I said, what's it going to cost me? I said, if you had told me, Dave, it'll be $200, I would have called the locksmith because I didn't expect to pay $200. So if any locksmiths are watching me, tell me the next time I break a key in the lock because I'm about to knock this door down, who the hell needs it anymore, if it's going to cost me $200 to replace a lock. That's all I want to know. So I said, all right, I'll do it for 150 but that's it. The point is I didn't agree to the deal before it, I agreed it after the fact. That was the problem. If he had told me beforehand, buddy, I'll take care of you. So I'm going to take care of maybe $50, maybe $75. It's not worth $200 to replace a lock. The fact that it took him two days to replace a lock, that's a crazy thing. Well, I had to come back for two days. That's because you had to do it. The fact that he had to come back for two days. What does that do with me? That's the craziest thing I've ever heard. If somebody says, uh, I want you to build me a house. Great. And how long does it take to build a house? Maybe six months. Terrific. How much is it going to take to build a house? Don't worry. I'll take care of you. So you figure, all right, well, maybe it'll be $300,000, $400,000, whatever the hell is to build a house. Takes him five and a half years. I said, How much is the house? Twelve million dollars. I said, Why would it take twelve million dollars? Well, it took me five and a half years. I said, Well, it shouldn't because it would take anybody else six months. Why do I care how long it takes you? It's you doing the job. So I was paying the guy to do the job, not for his time. I didn't say, Look, you got two days to replace a lock. When I called him, I said, Hey, come on over. I need to replace a lock. Only if you got two days to do it. <laughs> I didn't say that. So the fact is, I, and I gotta learn from my mistakes, which I never do. I gotta learn from my whatever. I'll take care of you, don't worry about it. The same day, I went to a bakery. I went to a bakery, this is why I'm doing this blog. And the bakery has cookies, these jelly cookies. And they, they have the little uh, horseshoe jelly cookies, then they have a big horseshoe jelly cookie. So I said, you know, I like them both. I, I said, what's the difference between the horseshoe jelly cookies and, and the big cookies there? <laughs> and then they had bagels. <laughs> And, and I had one of the cookies. I said, these cookies are delicious. I, I said, I love how you make these cookies. The cookies, the bagels, the Danish, delicious. I, I said, who can I tell how wonderful this is? Go, go in the back and talk to the baker. So I went in the back and talked to the baker. I, I said, I, the, these, these cookies, these cakes, these bagels are delicious. And I see the baker rolling out dough, then taking out his, his teeth, his dentures, and cutting cookie shapes with his teeth. The horseshoe cookie! The horseshoe cake, the cookies I want! Cookie shapes with his teeth! I said, what are you doing that for? Why don't you use a tool? He said, I use that for the bagels. So, uh, <laughs> what I'm getting at is, so, I don't know, hopefully that didn't happen. But um, I, I said, well, the horseshoe, the big horseshoe cookie with the jelly, that's three ninety nine or four ninety nine, whatever it is, something like that, the big horseshoe. And I said, what about the little cookies? That's a dollar a cookie. I, I said, a dollar a cookie? Who charges a dollar a cookie? This isn't Felix and uh, Gourmet, whatever, these gourmet shops, they charge you two uh, two fifty a cookie, five thousand a cookie, ten dollars, because the chocolate chips came from Switzerland on some mountain from Nestle, whatever. You know those, those, those cookies where they charge you per cookie? Who the hell charges per cookie? When I buy Oreo cookies, and I don't know how many comes in, six, twelve, eighteen, twenty, does it say each cookie's a dollar, twenty, who charges a dollar? And how can these be a dollar a cookie? So the owners, oh, I, I love you, you're on television, I want to do business with you, don't you worry about it. Get whatever you want. I'm going to take good care of you. Here we go again. I'm going to take good care of you. Get as many cookies as you want. I said, all right, very good. I said, give me 15 cookies. I like 15 cookies. Now, how to come up with 15 cookies? Usually, you buy cookies, you go to the store, you, you say, just give me a handful of cookies, or you take a whole bunch of cookies, you put them in the box, they weigh, and it's 349, 786 to four, four and a quarter. That's what it usually is, three something to four, so maybe seven dollars is in there a lot, seven dollars, maybe five dollars, five and a quarter. That's what it is when you weigh the cookies. He's get just put them in a box, or 